is up Dokkan player welcome back to the channel it is your boy blaze and today we are back with another Dokkan battle video and today before we start the video of course hopefully you guys are having a very very good day today and today we have some very exciting very good news for the global version of Dokkan uh, as you guys can tell we are having a dual Dokkan fest we are celebrating the golden week on both versions which is the JP and the global version has been officially announced in the game as well on DBC space uh, as you guys can see here so as you guys can see we are getting a new Dokkan event not just one we are getting two so again this is going to be a dual celebration and this is actually very shocking because normally golden week if you guys are new to the game is for global specifically is always in the month of november but now decide to do a switch over we're actually having a joint celebration that is very very good because not only are we getting new characters but we are getting of course new content where we don't have to wait like six five months later on when we don't really care about it now we have here um the events right now and same time as, as the JP version which is very very good so again we are having two new characters as it shows here we are getting the Vegeta and as well the Goku now this is very very good and I do believe that these characters will be part of being transformed into a Super Saiyan 4 uh, which again is very very good because it does provide a very big buff to the GT category maybe we actually might get a GT lead here because we do have two units here two Dokkan Fest so I believe, I believe maybe we actually might get probably would just be Shadow Dragon because if you turn Super Saiyan 4, you actually only turn Super Saiyan 4 during the uh, Dragon, sorry, the Shadow Dragon Saga, right? So it makes sense if he's the leader for, um, for what you might call it, for uh, GT. I mean, sorry, for the Shadow Dragon here. And also we have here Goku as well, who probably could be maybe the uh, Baby Saga, right, for GT. So that could be very, very good, very, very interesting. So if you actually take a look here, right, as you guys can see here, uh, we do know what's going to expect to happen because shout, shout out to the homie Goresh. As you guys know, we are getting an EZA for LRB pad. So it's actually going to be on both versions, which is very, very good. I mean, it should release during the time of celebration because Golden Wing has a lot of uh, has a lot of content here. But it's not yet confirmed, but we should be having those um, EZAs coming as well. Um, and as you guys know as well, for the GT for, for Goku here, uh, we are also going to get an EZ as well for the STR Goku. Now, it's not yet confirmed, but I mean... There's a very high chance this character is going to get an EZA, which is very, very good. I mean, if he doesn't have an EZA, I guess it'll be very weird. But, I mean, I do expect that he's going to get an EZA because this character is really, really good. Now, the only thing is that we don't have the same name update. So, of course, on the global version, it's going to be a little bit different here uh, compared to JP. But, I mean, regardless, we are catching up to JP as well, right? So, um, if we actually take a look here as well, what, one more thing I do want to see is that maybe we can probably get an EZA. Um... Uh, probably a sneaky one, right? Like just like a special one would be really nice if we got an easy for the Super Saiyan 3 Goku, right? This transforming great ape. He is just really foddered. Uh, he's a very good support type unit, but I mean, he is in desperate need of an easy yeah? just because his defense is very, very, very bad. And it's your, probably the weakest link if you are making a team build for Shadow Dragons or for Giant Ape Power. He is your weakest link because his defense couldn't get you killed. It's just really, really bad. And on top of that, his transformation as a giant ape is not very, very fun. So, of course, uh, hopefully this character does get an easy, which would be very, very nice. Um, now, if we actually go here on Vegeta here, of course, well, we have this uh, Super Saiyan 4 uh, AGL Vegeta, which also could get an easy, which is really, really good. I mean, we could have a double easy, right? Because we already seen it for Kefla. Sorry, not for Kefla, but for Khalifa and for Kale. Now, no, those are not Dokkan Fest units, but I mean, hey, why not? It's the perfect time. I think these characters are going to shine and also make the celebration much, much better. Um, because again, with every easy A, you do get stones, right? So free dragon stones, which will allow you to summon on the banner and maybe pull the characters here. So of course, we have Vegeta, which is very, very good. And also, one more thing is that in the celebration, which I'm praying, I mean, I'm praying, I hope it happens, right? Because there's not that many good Vegetas here for the GT. Um, I mean, we have this Vegeta as well, but like no one plays him. Uh, we also have the free-to-play Vegeta as well, but I mean, he's also like no one plays him as well. Um, if we can maybe get an Awakening for the Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta. Now, this Vegeta came out on Global first compared to JP. Uh, he came out in 2018, the month of June, right? So this character is actually very, very good. It's just that right now he doesn't fit into this meta because today's meta is just very, very different compared to back then. But I would like to have an Awakening for this character, finally, because I mean, he's been on Global for quite a while. And they just kind of forgot about him, right? Like, if we actually look at his card details, he's pretty decent, right? So, his super attack caused supreme damage to the enemy and raised defense by 30% for 6 turns. And then his passive is attack and defense plus 70%, plus additional attack plus 60% for 5 turns after being attacked. So, this is actually pretty good for a unit that's actually not yet awakened. So, 
if we can maybe get his awakening it would be very very nice because he's been on so many banners unfeatured featured whatever and just like like where's his awakening like i would really like to have this character have his awakening so we can finally use him again it also would probably even though he's on a crossover i believe he's on a crossover right he's, he's on a crossover it would be nice for him to like have an awakening right so that's going to be it here now of course the celebration which is Again, very, very good. It's not just that we're getting new characters, but again, the content is very, very nice. So as you guys can tell, you're a shout out to the homie Goresh. We are getting a new update for the Legendary Goku event or the Fighting Legend Goku. Now, it's not yet confirmed, but it seems it's going to be GT, so that's going to be very, very interesting. Of course, in this event here, you are getting some missions as well. So more free stones for players, which is very, very good. Uh, again, it's about it's going to be probably eight stages. It's the same thing as this one right here, or maybe even nine. Who really knows? But I mean, this event will be very, very fun because this event is very outdated. Now, is this going to be very similar to the new one? I don't think so because this one, I guess they already figured out that this is a kind of a stacking event here, right? You want to bring units that do stack their defense because as you go on, this Goku becomes very, very strong, hits very, very hard, especially with the super attacks, right? So very excited for the Fighting Legend Goku event. I'm very excited for the missions as well because usually the missions is for different categories and you get five Dragon Stones. And then we get more tickets and all that shebang, right? So, very, very interesting. Um, and one more thing here is that also, uh, we are for sure be getting a Infinite Dragon Ball History event. Now, I believe it's going to be only one stage. Because last celebration, right? Uh, let's actually go ahead and see... This was the Broly one. Uh, is this in alphabetical order? It's not, right? Okay. So, we have Four Mineral Saiyans. Uh, this was Universe 7. Majin Buu. Yeah, so during, I think we only got one Infinite Dragon Ball History event in the last Duel Dokkan Fest, with, which was with, uh, whatchamacallit, with um, Gotenks and Majin Buu, right? I'm pretty sure it's this one right here. I can't really tell. I don't remember. I know this is not, this is for the Worldwide Celebration. This is after. I actually don't remember which one it was, but um, again, this right here, we are getting a new Infinite Dragon Ball History event. That's pretty much confirmed. Because each time there's a new Dokkan Fest, we are getting a new Infant Dragon Ball History event. So again, more free stones for players um, and more of a challenge as well. So it means more content. So again, this would be a very good celebration. Honestly, could Global be catching up to JP? I mean, so far, I guess besides the World Squad celebration, uh, I guess it first started with the Dragon Ball Heroes event, right? That was very unexpected. That would be a joint celebration. And after that, we had the Saiyan Day, right? And then we have here the Worldwide Celebration, so that's number three. And now, of course, we have your Golden Week. So could Global finally catch up to JP? I mean, it's very possible. There's a very good chance here. Um, but the thing is, it's still in a very wonky position. Because let's say the seven-year anniversary. Uh, for Global players, the six-year anniversary is in the month of July. But I highly doubt it will go from July all the way to June. To, I mean, July to January, sorry. To have the seven-year anniversary. I, I mean, I think it's very far-fetched. I don't think we're going to get... The seven year anniversary in January with JP, but I mean, it's still a very good possibility. They probably did a Citroën where now we have Golden Week, and probably the Global First is now going to be going to November. Um, because again, usually the Cyber Celebration is in the month of November for global players, but maybe now they're going to reserve it for the Global First um, so they can kind of match up a little bit with the uh, six year anniversary, right? So, I mean, I mean, very interesting here for the global side. Honestly, I think it's a very good, um, very good event that's happening for global players. I guess the only complaint you can have about it is that unfortunately now you no longer have the, the power of foresight because we are going to have the same banner as JP right at the same time. So if you want to see if this character is worth your stones, you're going to have to wait for the showcase first before you summon. Um, so that's like the only real thing about it. But I mean, it's still very good for gold players because it, right now it's super, super dry for content. And honestly, with all these new events coming on the Golden Week, uh, definitely it feels like uh, Global would be very much in the shadows here. So. Very, very happy for that. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you guys expect for the celebration. Are you guys happy? Are you guys not happy? And who are you going to summon for as well? Are you going to go more on the Goku banner or are you going to go on the uh, Vegeta banner? I think uh, Vegeta's be worth it more compared to Goku because there's so many Goku cards. But I mean, Vegeta here is more important in my opinion because if we actually look at Vegeta, right? Um, this Super Saiyan 4, where's the LR Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta? Uh, this right here, this character does not have a good linking partner. And because Vegeta, which I'm predicting, right, is going to be a Super Saiyan 4, transforming into a Super Saiyan 4, uh, he, he's going to be much more valuable compared to Goku, in my opinion, just because, again, this character right here does not have a very good-looking partner. 
Uh, normally, it would be the AGL one, but because they share the same name, they're not able to link up together. So again, it is a very wonky position for this LR Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. But nonetheless, very, very excited. Um, and yeah, I just can't wait. So we should actually probably get some more details probably tomorrow, if not on Tuesday. Um, for the celebration, but again, very, very good news for global players. So, uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to hit the like button. So, for more videos, comment down below. And hopefully, I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace!